So I want to start by saying that I am a black disabled woman. And in many ways, at many points in time, people like me have not been seriously welcomed into or wholly affirmed by the church or local congregations because of misogyny, because of racism, because of ableism, and because of the ways that all of those things interact and then reconstitute a specific type of experience. So literally, physically, intellectually, whether intentionally or subconsciously, marginalized people have not always been welcomed to be a part of faith communities. And it goes without saying that marginalized people have not been given space and opportunity to serve in leadership. So as I think about Juniper Formation's mission of prophetically reimagining the church from the margins, I think that inherent to that is the confession that the church has not always gotten things right. And then there's the realization that in order to do better, we might, we might have to do things from a different starting place. So that's not just tapping into those buzzwords of diversity and inclusion at a surface level, not just focusing on presence and representation in the proverbial seat at the table, but fundamentally shifting and beginning with an entirely different lens than the lens that has shaped what we've done before. And then recognizing that this is an ongoing process, this reimagination, this leaning into the continued unfolding of the revelation of God, this thinking and speaking and acting boldly from the place of the prophet. So what does that look like for me in the context of Juniper Formation? It has looked like serving on ministry teams, multiple, leading and collaborating and co-creating. It has looked like me having my voice and my perspective not just heard so folks can get a pat on the back for listening, but truly heard and valued and incorporated meaningfully. It has looked like me as a Black disabled woman who hails from the Baptist tradition, having been shaped culturally by Catholicism, rooted in Black liberation and womanist theologies, not having to leave any of that behind in any Juniper Formation space. It has looked like me having my gifts uplifted and making space to explore concepts and pursuits about which I'm curious. It has looked like me as a Black disabled woman when the world is on fire socially and politically and sometimes literally, or when my disabled body and my determined mind aren't on the same page, being able to be vulnerable about that, about how I'm doing, how I'm feeling, how I'm navigating the world and how I'm coming to any particular moment and to find comfort and healing. It has looked like courageously, genuinely, prophetically, reimagining what church looks like, what it feels like, what it sounds like, what it is, and what it can be for me and for us. And I'm eternally grateful for the way that the spirit has moved through the work of Juniper Formation. And I'm proud of what has been done within us individually and within the larger community. And I'm looking forward to continuing that very important work with Juniper Formation. Thank you.